uh, Max Rose or uh, at Maxel Rose on Instagram, he was trying to send this message to us on our last major details, but for some reason it wasn't coming through. Yeah, that was weird, wasn't I it? I think it was because of crude language or something. <laughs> um, but uh, Max asks, how do you think industrial design as a profession slash field has been affected by its association with art, i.e. lots of ID programs are at art schools? Do you think this association has been helpful or harmful? This is an interesting question because sometimes I think that design is almost celebrated as a science. Mm -hmm. It's almost elevated to the sense of like there's this process. It needs to solve world hunger, you know, blah, 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 blah. Whereas art is the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. Art is whatever you make of it. You know, mm. it's completely subjective. Technically, everything could be art um, in in some definitions. And in my opinion, design is an art form. I consider it an art because it is subjective. It is. Right. It does have a lot of ambiguity into it. Yeah. Um, but it's it's the crossroad between art and science. Yeah. It's the crossroad between those structures. Yeah, I think I told this story before, but I noticed a... a, a big difference between the Southern District Conference IDSA when I was in school versus I visited the Northern District Conference. And I felt like the Northern District was much more on the arts side. Yeah. Whereas the Southern District was much more on the science side. I, and why is that? I wait, I don't know if we had a good answer for that. I, I don't have a good answer for that. I mean, I don't know if it's as a result of trickling down from the Midwest, like the manufacturing hub mm. into the, like into the South, um, you know, because the North, it makes a lot of sense to me. You have, you know, you have flourishing art scenes right. within all the major cities. It's, it's almost like, I almost think of it as like this more of a elitist type of idea. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm over Play more. I don't know if I'm I'm going into some sort of political thing or not. But I I think uh, I always imagine the North having more of a uh, liberal viewpoint of the world. Uh huh. Um, and being more into the arts. Yeah. So that's why I think design schools up north tend to lean into more of a artistic design philosophy mm -hmm. whereas in the south it's a little bit more conservative and very a little bit more structured yeah more more, more research-based more you know yeah. des design back to design thinking you know yeah yeah i um yeah I, I it was interesting to me because i remember at virginia tech how much it was kind of like beaten into us like you know you it, it felt like you shouldn't even consider yourself an artist mm -hmm. it was it was so much more about the methodology yes and i feel and like that's how it was a scat too like yeah but i feel like as a result of living and working in new york for the past five six years i've adopted almost more of the artist mentality i i personally feel like i am more of the artist mentality yeah for sure i i enjoy that aspect of not necessarily adhering to the process not necessarily right. like rigidly solving the problem but adding that element of surprise like you're saying or delight mm -hmm. that's not necessarily you know needed yeah but, but adds to the design as a whole and right creates because because art as as a you know a field is not necessarily needed yeah like we don't we but but is it in a way like we we generate art we love art yeah. like you know you go to a museum on the weekend and, and weekends and it's jam packed yeah people i remember going to see the mona lisa in in france and just like you know i mean there's Crouts. novelty around Crouts. around Mo the mona lisa but i i remember know, i remember going to the mona lisa and we when i was in paris we got there before the museum opened mm -hmm. the louvre and Right when it opened, everyone rushed in. Everyone was running, yeah, running down the hall, skipping everything, everything, just to see the Mona Lisa. Right, right. I got there first. 
But, you know, we were talking about the sort of awe inspiring when it comes to innovation. And I think there's also awe inspiring design when it comes to the artistic side of design. For sure. When it comes to the form, when it comes, you know, because I feel like great art kind of shows what people are capable of in a in a creative expressive sense yeah rather than um in science where it shows what people are capable of in like a mental thinking right sense. Lo- logical yeah, yeah yeah i i the the thing with design is that if you don't have that creative aspect that artistic touch i don't think it's design you, yeah it design is subjective to some extent like you have to be able to implement your artistic capabilities whether that be you know creating some sort of clever idea or delightful thing or maybe it's just the composition that you create is beautiful like you have to implement that in, yeah into the product like that is industrial design right that's the definition so i i think it's correct that industrial design is in art school i don't think it should be a scientific uh degree mm. Well, I have an MS in design. Oh, I have a BFA. <laughs> or, or BS, sorry. Uh, we both, oh my God. But, but I, I, think that, I think that design is the Venn diagram between science and art. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, yeah. And minor details is the Venn diagram between you and me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's our, oh, that's our tagline. Oh, that sounds sexual. Oh, man. Um, so yeah, thanks for sending that in, Max. Yeah, 